Nice turn. I'm playing a bit of classic music. Classic tunes. Good night. What is up guys, so yeah, welcome to another vlog, so despite having this cold, getting through this cold, you know, despite kind of being back to normal, I'm not back to normal, you know, um, went to GP, Monday, I had a check up, it's all good but I'm still medicated, drugged up, whatever you want to call it, uh, nothing serious is to do with like, mucus on my throat and all that um, and to prevent anything worse really but that had other implications um, of course this weekend I would have been in Nottingham playing parachute football and I would have been on Sunday at regionals would have been um, a weekend of football let's just say I was looking forward to getting back but obviously I'm here vlogging I didn't get back to it but I want to say well done to the teammates of mine that were there and were fit and able to play. Uh, I'm sorry I wasn't there. I mean, I'm going to get into it later, but like I was saying, it's basically a bad cough what I've been having. So, being on medication is, I'm in no shape to play football. Um, you know, nothing I can do about that. Um, I'm still vlogging. I can do that, sit at a desk, talk to a camera pretty easy um, so yeah I want to thank you guys for just bearing with me because I've, I've been ill for a while like on and off I mean first is my health I had to put that first make the decision and stick with it um, for me it was the right decision um, obviously I felt bad for the team but like I said health is you know comes first you've got to consider that in anything you do um, important or not or however important it is just know that you got to look after number one first yourself um, of course life's about helping others all that uh, it's a team sport yeah I know um, but when I do get back it's gonna be it's gonna be great for the team to have all the t teammates back um, I love it I mean it's something that's been part of my life for a long time and it's still as fun as it was on day one if not more and this there you go my voice is kind of going again but this is the, the sport I do you know no other sport uh, not many I can do but um, so to miss it is really difficult for me to take because I've never been out this long um, recently anyway for a long time just a cold um, so I'm just talking to you guys giving you the updates I mean I felt terrible but like I said I need to recover the videos are not going to stop um, I'm still here for you guys just because I can't go there doesn't mean I can't vlog so here I am and I've got a few plans for this vlog later on towards the end I mean yeah there would there would be no point in me being there if I'm not on my best and to risk getting more ill, no no um, but I really appreciate what my teammates did without me being there we, we got a player over from the fourth team um, the, called the Spire Lions like, um, uh, with younger players it's like they, they were the development team and they developed obviously um, and one of them was lucky enough to play with us because I wasn't there so I'm happy in that sense, um, but yeah, the result of the game was not what we wanted to lose 5-1. Um, but I heard there was a team, there was still that team spirit. Um, I'm going to bounce back. I know that. As you can see from a few of the images I'm showing here, like through the Facebook, like uh, statuses from the team 
and all that on the on the Facebook page. My own comment and say saying we're gonna we're gonna you know, we're gonna take revenge literally. We're gonna be back, you know. And they won't be able to cope with with a full team, full strength team. Um anyway, enough about me, enough about me moaning and all that negativity, negative energy, me feeling sorry for myself, you know. Just don't don't buy into that. I mean, if you spend your time being negative, you've got to be negative, that's it. If you devote your effort and time to that, what else are you going to be? <laughs> I mean, to a certain extent, you've got a choice. I mean, yeah, this is upsetting for me not being there, but there's bigger issues in the world, bigger problems. I mean, if any of you are in similar situations, just know that you're not the only one. And it always could be worse. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, is this a big issue? No. Me missing some games. I, compared to what some people go through, life or death situations, it's not one of them. Yeah, it's my life, but yeah. Enough of that. I mean, there's been a lot going on recently. In terms of uh, the news, like that YouTube attack. Um, I didn't mention it to you guys earlier. It's because I've been busy on the vlog, literally. Um, I had to, a few vlogs to get out when I found out it happened so like I haven't been up to date but yeah I haven't mentioned it for that reason um, but yeah it came as a shock real shock uh, strange how all the YouTubers are just moaning about the notifications and then a, a real situation like this happens and you just forget all that nonsense like I said it could always be worse and this is something we don't we don't hear about these things every day. I mean, a lot of YouTubers are really, really upset because they've been to that that building and known the people in there. They know the people in there. So for them, it's like somewhere they go. Like imagine like somewhere you work or something. That happening, you wouldn't be able to go back there and feel the same way. It w would feel like a crime scene. I mean, it is in this case. I mean, I don't want to go into detail or get political or anything. I mean, enough YouTubers have done that, but yeah, I'm just my heart goes out to all the families, well, the vi the victims, if they're victims, or anyone who's in that building, would feel like a victim, I guess. So yeah, just shame about that. Thoughts are with the employees. Uh, YouTube is uh, part of my life as well, like football is. Um, so I consider it part of my. Right, well, it's part of a lot of people's world. I don't know the people there personally, but maybe one day. Well, I'm sure one day. The way I'm going on this channel. Thank you to all, all the new subscribers, by the way. But yeah, when I do get back to football, you guys will be the first to know. And it'll be in the vlog. I mean, I was planning this weekend to do so many vlogs at football and all that. But yeah, didn't happen. But I'm so proud of my team for putting in that effort, you know. That team effort because in the face of that game, like think about it, we were four 0 down at half time. So to put a bit of a fight up in the second half, uh, like my manager commented, it is it is a game of two halves. It is, and we proved that. They proved that. But yeah, with what I've mentioned today. I hope you can relate somehow, you know. Maybe you think I'm weird or unoriginal or crazy. But that Red Dot Chili Peppers video I did the other day. And they're one of my favourite bands. One of my favourite groups. Well, that's a previous vlog. I really enjoyed making that. That went a bit overboard, but... Whether you think it's cringe or not. Some of you might think it's a bit cringe, but... I did it anyway because that's what us YouTubers do. You know, we just based on what we like and we go from there just assume everyone likes the same thing because you can't pretend to like what other people like you go oh, yes, you gotta be honest with yourself really um yeah enough cringe enough cringe let's just update ourselves on what went on in the news this week you know Conor McGregor, first of all. 
Connor, why'd you do it? Connor, you have an anger problem. Connor, you're letting down your fan. Nobody. Yeah. Guys getting arrested. I mean, it was to do with one of his friends in the industry that was like getting attacked, bullied by someone else, not attacked, but like bullied by someone else or something. I don't know the details, but McGregor was in the news. He was throwing a fence at something. That's all I saw. And there's this video clip of him just coming out of a building and they're like shouting at him, swearing at him. And I think it's like when he got arrested or something. Um, Ronaldo, what a goal. What a goal. And then Ronaldo! Oh! What a goal by Cristiano Ronaldo! Sensational! The greatest marksman in the history of the Champions League with an absolute oh, beauty! My way. If you type up to us, all the Juventus fans around us. <laughs> Even the opposing team fans, the Juventus fans, even they were on their feet applauding the goal. And he was uh, amazed. But Zlatan Ibrahimovic has done the same but from 40 metres. And he said that in an interview recently. <laughs> the guy just cannot stop scoring. 37. I mean, Ronaldo's getting, getting to a ripe old age in football anyway, and he's still doing it. But the cross was just... That's not by accident, they, they crossed the ball like, like that and the, the finish, he meant that and he practices that, it's not a freak accident. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on in the world recently, I've probably missed some major news. Of course, in other news, RIP Ray Wilkins and Eric Barstow, um, who is a darts, like, he's a darts legend basically. Of course, um, Ray, Whit Ray, uh, yeah, Ray Wilkins, sad uh, legend of, of Man City, Man United, AC Milan. Um, and there was a picture at, at the, a recent Milan game uh, with Baresi, a former teammate, holding up the, the jersey, the number eight jersey that he wore when he was there as like a tribute. And yeah, sad time because uh, he was. I remember him from like when he was on Sky Sports. Obviously, I don't remember him as a player, but he was. A, and he was a legend and a good guy. And that's how it is in sports when you lose someone like that. It's just it's been difficult. Like after the David story thing, like a, a young player that's actually still playing. It's just shocking as well. But yeah, I'm gonna leave you with a few funny clips to brighten up your day. Because that's what I'm here for, to help you forget the monotony of everyday life. Really? You're a scap man. For a little bit, or make you cringe, feel cringe or something. Or laugh or do something. Some sort of emotion. Is created by this video I'm happy stick a like on it to let me know you enjoyed it and you watched it to the end leave a comment I don't mind just no swearing I will see you soon guys, all the best and have a lovely rest of the weekend, peace out, ciao.
compliment that I think that we yeah. could ever get. You think about your life, you know, you come into the world uh, with nothing, yeah. you leave with nothing, yeah. so your life is like a parenthesis in eternity. Yeah. That's it, okay? This is what you get while you're here. And the only thing you can do with your life is give it away. Yeah. It's a bit